Hey guys, so what is up? Red Money here. How you guys all doing? Hope you all doing really well and have a really great day. In this video, we're gonna be testing out a NO 3D iChill X3 RTX 3080 Ti. And yeah, this graphics card is quite interesting. And anyways, in this video, we're gonna be trying out the Ethereum hash rate, Ravencoin, and Ergo, and we're gonna see how it's gonna fare in terms of like power consumption, and uh, yeah, all that stuff. I have a separate power supply to see how much the GPU is taking, so we're gonna see how that all goes within this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy, and I'll also update the hash rate spreadsheet that I have on Google Docs, so link down below. You guys may have saw the video where I already tested out a 3080 Ti Founders Edition, and so I got a bunch of those hash rates already. Thank you to Tech Shinji, he is another YouTuber who let me remote in to test that 3080 Ti. So link down below to Tech Shinji's channel. Thank you so much, man. But anyways, guys, in this video, I received this iChill X3 3080 Ti from mineshop.eu and uh, looks like they got a couple of GPUs for sale on their website as we speak. Looks like they have a 3080 amp hollow for sale. I'm not quite sure if that's LHR or non-LHR, but guys, go check them out. Link down below, mineshop.eu. Thank you so much. All right, so before I plug in the GPU, I just wanted to show you guys something. When I unboxed it, the NO3D, they said here, the product is not designed for crypto mining. We reserve the right to void the warranty if there's any damage associated with this application. NO3D. So I found that to be pretty funny. It was the anti-static bag around this card and I, would, I just had to laugh and I posted it on Instagram and a bunch of you guys laughed as well. But anyways, let me just flip it around here so you guys can see what else is going on with this graphics card. It's just, it's quite interesting. There's a lot going on and uh, I'll show you something in a sec here, but I'm just showing you the back side of it so you guys can see what this GPU is all about. And there's the two 8 pins for power. And here is the IO. This thing is extremely heavy. It's it's quite amazing. And I know this is going to be lit up in terms of the RGB or the light bar. As you guys can see on the box, <laughs> that looks pretty cool. And then it also came with this like plastic insert that goes onto the back here. I guess this is going to be lit up in terms of, uh, there must be RGB on the back here, and then I had to screw it in. And so there is another insert here, it's just clear without the X3 marking, so I thought that was pretty interesting, pretty interesting. Anyways guys, without further ado, let me go ahead, I'm gonna plug it into my test mining rig here. I have two 3060s right now. Uh, so I'm gonna remove both, and we're gonna put the 3080 Ti on a GPU risers dot com riser, brand spanking new, and also on a HP server PSU. This is from Parallel Miner using a 1200 watt PSU going into a kilowatt meter that you guys can see right there, all right? So you guys will see the 3080 Ti on there right now. Oh, all right, so it's been about uh, about a week now. I've been playing around with this 3080 Ti, and I've been kind of just scratching my head, figuring out why I cannot get 80 mega hash or more on this 3080 Ti specifically. And I will show you guys my results right now. It's it's pretty sporadic between like 68, 69 mega hash to like 73 mega hash, and. Here are my settings. So let me just talk with you all and what I've figured out with this card specifically. And I know a lot of others have gotten different results out there with the 3080 Ti. And so here are the settings that I was able to achieve no matter what I did doing minus like 502, you know, plus 100 or even like, you know, going from 100 to 200, 300, 400, 500, 600 and so on in terms of the memory as I was going higher in the memory, I was losing mega hash, all right? So I don't know if that happened to you guys, but let me know down below what 3080 Ti that you guys have and let me know what settings you did in order to achieve whatever mega hash that you are able to get on your 3080 Ti. And I just wanna show you like the ID in terms of the tech power up, it shows 2208. So I think that's the normal ID for this 
you know, this model of 3080 Ti. So, you know, we got, we can get 71 now. It's only been running for about 30 minutes now. But you can look at my also memory temperatures, which is 88 degrees Celsius, so that's totally fine. And I'm using the latest version of NB Miner, 39.2, with the NVIDIA driver 471.11, okay? And no matter what I've tried, so now I'm getting 73 now, but then it's gonna go back to like 69, 68 mega hash. It just goes all over the place, so <laughs> there you go. I, I've tried even like, if I go back to stock, actually before I do that, I wanna show you the power consumption. We are at the GPU, or at the wall, it says it's like, you know, 298, 306, it jumps around. But in the software, it shows 267. Okay, or for what I'm able to achieve. Now, if I just put everything back to stock, okay, and now also if I bring up the fan back up because I don't want it to, to get too hot. So at the stock power, now, uh, yeah, it's gonna change a bit. I wanna know from you all, like if you guys have tested out the latest version of the NB Miner with the Dash LHR or even without it, because I know NB Miner now can do the LHR unlock without adding the Dash LHR in the batch file. Okay, so yeah, that's something, let me know down below what you guys get in terms of the mega hash. But yeah, maybe specifically this NO3D iChill X3, which is really cool by the way. I don't know what you guys think about this cooler, but man, it's got interesting RGB lighting on the back here with the little plastic piece I showed you guys earlier. <laughs> it looks like I can change this out if I wanted, but I think I like the X3 logo one on it. And then uh, it's got the I chill light bar at the top which seems pretty cool but otherwise I don't really care about that I care about the the silicon I guess on this GPU specifically and I'm curious to know if maybe if there is a possibly another revision of the LHR as I think this 3080 Ti is maybe really recent in terms of manufacturing and okay so anyways just to show you guys 72 mega hash we got up there at about 267 watts and uh, this is at 100% power. This is just stock, okay, with 80% fan. And you can see at the wall, nothing has really changed. We are still at 300 and around 300 watts for this GPU. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe you guys can let me know if there's anything else I can try. Like, I did try doing DDU, okay, on this whole machine in Windows. I got rid of the NVIDIA driver, installed brand new. I did that, reinstalled MSI Afterburner. I even tried the latest NVIDIA driver just to see if that would unlock it maybe even more, but no, that didn't help at all. I, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. I tried dash LHR 68, dash LHR 69, dash LHR 70. I even tried 71, 72, and so on just to see if I could get any better results. And uh, like I said earlier, I tried all the different numbers in terms of the core, in terms of the memory. It seems like as I was getting higher memory, it was getting worse mega hash. So yeah, I... I just want to know like this is a really interesting card and I've seen people get 80 and there's someone on my discord that was able to get 85 on a EVGA for the win 3 edition card so I don't know what's up with that I don't know if that has a specific maybe different LHR method from the manufacturer but I want to know from you guys in terms of the brands in terms of the model, in terms of the overclocks that you guys are able to use on your 3080 Ti, let me know down below. Hopefully that will help others out there. And uh, yeah, I've seen all different types of reports of different hash rates for these 3080 Ti's. And yeah, I'm just totally confused as to why this one, whatever settings I try to do, it just cannot get to the number that I've seen other people get. All right, so anyways, let me know what you guys think. I now wanna try Ergo and Ravencoin, so uh, let's do Ergo Ergo first. I'll be right back. Alright, we are mining Ergo. Some of you guys were wondering maybe what the power consumption is of the motherboard and uh, the power supply for the motherboard, SSD, RAM, CPU, all that. It's drawing about 21, 20, 20 watts right now. Okay, and now we're mining Ergo on this 3080 Ti. We're using about 327 watts at the wall. I think this HP server PSU is maybe not as efficient at the lower levels of power consumption, maybe more towards 50%, then we'll get more efficiency there. But anyways, I wanna show you guys the ergo hash rate that I can achieve on this 3080 Ti, 272.5 mega hash on the Auto Lycos algorithm, and the power consumption according to the software says 289 watts, 
and then the memory temperature that some of you may want to know is about 82 degrees Celsius so that's pretty good at 80% fan. My ambient temperature right now where I am doing this video is it's pretty cool so this, the temperature, the memory temperatures on this 3080 Ti, it's, it's not bad, but I'm assuming once it gets hotter, I guess during the summertime and now that fall is coming, uh, it, you know, I won't know in, until it gets hotter during the day. But anyways, that's the Ergo hash rate. I mean, that's really good. <laughs> Honestly, I'm going to take the Ethereum hash rate, the Ergo hash rate, and the Ravencoin hash rate in a second here and see what is the most profitable algorithm on this 3080 Ti that we achieved today. Okay, and here are my overclock settings just in case some people are curious. I was able to do 83 power limit, minus 100 on the core, and plus 1370 on the memory, and 80% fan, and that is the mega hash that I'm able to achieve on this card. All right guys, let's do Ravencoin. All right, I have reason to believe that the NO3D iChill X3 3080 Ti is also like further LHR'd and maybe they figured out on the Ravencoin algorithm Kapow because I know for a fact that these 3080 Ti's are supposed to get above 50 mega hash at stock power limit, all right? And you can see here, I just put plus 150 core, zero memory. I'll show you guys something funny in a second here to, to show that when I add more memory, the mega hash will start going lower. So l let me just show you guys that right now. Let me show you the initial power consumption, 328 watts. And the TDP of this thing is supposed to be 350 watts. So isn't it theoretically supposed to be taking up the full power consumption? Now I wonder if the LHR is already activated because you can see here the TDP is 83.9, uh, 83% .9, TDP right now. Even though I have the 100% power limit set and I have tried uninstalling Afterburner clean install twice now with a clean install of the driver as well. I did DDU and everything and this GPU cannot get above, I can't get past 43 or 44 mega hash on this thing. So let me just show you guys something. Let me put this up to, let's just say 1000 memory, just a moderate 1000. Okay, we're going to hit check. I'm not going to change anything else. And I want to show you guys here the, I guess, the memory controller load. It was at 100, okay, it was at 100 before, but when I just changed it to 1000, it's now down to about 87%. Now, we're going to see the hash rate drop, all right, we were at like 43, 44. Now, we're going to 42 and 42.8, and it's continuing to go lower, 42.67, so like... Do you guys think that this card is LHR'd like further on Ravencoin? Is it just me or am I going crazy? Because I, I don't know, from, from what I've been seeing out there, I've been seeing that this card is supposed to get about 50 to like 56 mega hash mining Ravencoin on a 3080 Ti. So has NO3D figured out a LHR version like number five or something? Like just, I don't know what's going on. This is really weird. We're getting limited on mining Ravencoin on this GPU. So we weren't getting limited, it seems, on Ergo. You guys saw that earlier, right, on Ergo. And then of course on Ethereum, we were getting limited, but I wasn't able to achieve the, you know, the 80 plus mega hash. And I was actually reading online, there's other people here that tested the, uh, the iChill X3 uh, right here. Okay, the NO3D RTX 3080 iChill X4, actually not the X3, X4, but the same brand, NO3D, and you can see here that they were only able to achieve about 58 mega hash and uh, doing the dash LHR 68, okay? And actually, if we scroll down, they say at the end here, they say here, note that your results may vary depending on the GPU model, overclocking settings, and temperatures. I mean, I've said that before. In our case, the RTX 3080 Ti should be getting 82 mega hash, but our base hash rate was only around 42, which then improved to 62 after the LHR 68 update. So you see that they talk about even 82 mega hash, but their NO3D was only able to get up to about 62. And then I was able to only get it to about 73 max. And it was always fluctuating between, you know, 68, 69 to 73. So I think this NO3D brand, they figured out how to 
like limit Ravencoin on this GPU on the 3080Ti. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know if any of you have this NO3D model specifically and maybe like another Chinese brand perhaps like a gain word card that uh, maybe those also have the LHR maybe just like a further revision of the light hash rate lock on these cards for different algorithms now. Maybe it's not just Ethereum, now it's Ravencoin. Am I just going crazy? I wanna know what you guys think down below. Please post your results of, you know, what brand GPU you have, what overclock settings you guys use, power limits, memory, core clock, fan speed, what have you. But the most important thing is to also put down the model which you guys have a 3080 Ti and please let me know what results you guys can get, let's say on Ethereum, Ravencoin as well, and Ergo. So that, you know, other people can see this as well. If people are watching this and reading the comments, it should help those that are maybe wanting to buy these GPUs. So would I buy this in O3D iChill X3 3080 Ti? No, at this point, no, because it looks like, in my experience, limited on mining Ravencoin. So actually, if I just go back to like 100 memory, and I'm gonna hit plus there, we should theoretically then see the hash rate start to rise. Okay, so yeah, like we're, we're getting limited here and also the memory controller went back up to 100. All right, it was, uh, it was uh, at uh, 80 something, 88, 87 before, you guys can see here, but now I just changed it and now the mega hash is going back up. All right, so tell me, are we not limited or LHR'd on this 3080 Ti on Ravencoin? Very strange, very strange. Anyways, I just want to end off with profitability here. I have the Ravencoin, uh, Auto Lycos, and Ethereum entered in here in terms of the hash rate that I can achieve. On this 3080 Ti, I'm going to hit calculate there, and we're going to go down, and it says Ergo is the most profitable on this NO3D. 3080 Ti and then Ethereum is the next one at uh, looks like uh, 40 cents 30 cents less than Ergo and then Ravencoin is a little bit further down at about another dollar less it seems okay anyways guys let me know your thoughts about this NO3D 3080 Ti and if you guys have seen similar results that I have and I know there are many varying 3080 Ti results out there but uh, yeah, I've been testing this card for a very long time now and I've tried many different things to make sure that I'm like doing this right and correct and I'm not going crazy. It feels like I'm going crazy. Let me know what you guys think down below. I appreciate you all. Let me know your thoughts. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one and peace out.